This is the third tutorial as part of Deep Dive into Pilates beginner tutorial series. The first tutorial we talk about reading, the second tutorial we talk about the pelvic bowl and the pelvic floor muscles. In this tutorial we will address the core. What is the core and where is the core? Often there is a misconception out there that the core is only made up of the abdominal muscles. It's Correct, the abdominal is part of the core, but it's only one part of group of muscle that supports the core. So we have Mr. Bones here with me again to help explain what is the core. The core is the area that goes from underneath the rib cage down to the spine and then to the hip area and then to the front of the pubic bone. So this cylinder-like space is your core and it's made up of few group of muscles. Let's talk about the abdominals muscles. We all know your abdominal muscles, but do you know there are layers of the abdominal muscles? Okay, let's talk about from the deepest layer. We have the transversus abdominals. It's like a corset-like muscle that wraps around the midline of the body, this space here. When the muscle contracts, it gives you a nice hourglass figure turn up the center, reducing the space in the midline, in the waistline. And then we have the internal obliques that runs from the hip bone area, diagonally up towards the rib cage. This way. It rotates the body. It also rot uh, side bend the body. And then we have the external obliques, which runs from the rib cage down to the hip area. This way. Again, it goes more into more diagonal line. It rotates the body, as well as, again, side bending the body. The internal and the external obliques combined together, it creates like a, an X-like shaped fibers of the muscles. It really hugs the center of the body. And now we have the outermost layer of the muscle, the abdominal muscle is your six pack muscles. The most favorite shaped muscles. Now, the six pack muscle or the hot cross bun muscle is called the rectus abdominis. It mimics the movement of the spine, it flexes the spine forward when the muscle contracts and then it releases and it contracts and then elongates into extension. Okay, so those are your four abdominal muscles the transversus abdominis, internal obliques external obliques, and the rectus abdominis, the six-pack muscles. Now, moving on into another group of muscle, this is part of your core, is your back muscle. Okay, so at the back of the body, we have the spine here. The, that, uh, sorry, the back muscle is categorized into three. We have the intrinsic, deep back muscles. We have the superficials, and we have the intermediate. Today, we're just gonna talk about the deep back muscle. Now, the deep back muscle is the muscle, a stabilizer muscle that stabilizes the trunk, the spine. The deep back muscle consists of the semispinalis, the multifidus, and the, your rotatoris. Now, those muscles combined, they create like a chevron-like, Christmas-like shaped muscles along the spine. They attach us to, and they attach us to the spinous process, which is the bones are sticking out the back of the spine, and the transverse processes on the side of the spine. It really supports the structures of this bone. Okay, it takes you into an extension, it takes you into a rotation, and also takes you into a side mending and combining those three movements as well. With, if you have a weak, deep back muscle, you see you're compromising the structure of the spine. You compress the spine, you, not, you don't create a nice good length, keeping spaces or rooms between the vertebrae body. You may encounter issues like herniated disc, um, scoliosis, and many other uh, back issues. Okay, now on to the last group of muscle, which is part of your core, is your hip flexors muscle. Now, hip flexors muscles are muscles that connect 
the leg, the thigh bone, to the spine. So you have the psoas major, the psoas minor, and your iliacus. Where are they? They attach us from the side, the transverse processes of the spine, the side of the spine here, to and runs down to the lesser trochanter of the thigh bone. Okay, so that's your psoas major. The psoas minor, again, from the side of the spine to the pubic area of the hip, of the pelvis. The iliacus, it lies within the inside of the iliac bone, the ilium bone, and touches to the lesser trochanter of the thigh bone here. So you see those muscles, it supports the upper extremity of the body, the trunk, to the lower part here. And it lift the legs like so. Okay, our modern life, behavior of sitting down for hours, it put a lot of stress on the hip, uh, on the hip flexors muscles. Now what they do is it tightens up the hip flexors muscles. When your hip flexors is tight and weak, it pulls the position of the body, of the spine, forward like so. So it's more off-center. Now, if your hip flexors is lengthened and weak, you're in this position too. So either position, you're compromising the structure of the body. So hop. So therefore, to have the core nice and tight and stabilizing the core, you need to work those hip flexors muscles, okay? As well as your abdominal muscles and your deep back muscles, all right? So your core muscles are the abdominal group muscles, your back muscles, your deep back muscles, and your hip flexors muscles. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. I hope to see you in the next tutorial.